Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and I have quite an interesting video for you today. We've talked before about YouTube censorship and demonetization of gun related content and that we've always felt that YouTube sort of has it in for us. Well, after a video that was put out today, the plot thickens. This video was done by Nerd City. I'll put the link in the description below of that video and this was led by research done by another channel called YouTube Analyzed and I'll put a link in the description below to his video. Now whilst we like to think that the whole world hates shooting and gun related content we certainly aren't alone with being demonetized and censored on YouTube and a very big community that seems to have it quite bad is the LGBT community and after doing a little bit of research after this I found that they are quite heavily affected and pretty much if you put anything about gay, lesbian, homosexuality within your title or description your video is going to be demonetized and it's led these two channels to go and research this a little bit more to find out exactly what's up. Because one of the biggest issues once all of this demonetization and censorship started was that no one really knew what the goalposts were. Yes, you have the YouTube creators guideline and community standards and guidelines and all that, but it's not really black and white of what they like, what they don't like, and certainly what words you can and can't use. Now, the video made by Nerd City is called YouTube's Biggest lie and that's because YouTube are quite stern in protesting that they don't censor certain words. There is no list of words or keywords or terms or anything like that that is going to go into our classifiers making uh, an a priori decision about whether a video is monetized or not. And as you can tell by the, the title of his video it's all one big lie because YouTube analysed, went and put in 15,000 words to see if it had any effect on the monetization of the video. So he uploaded 15,000 different videos, well it was the same video, same thumbnail, everything the same apart from the title, putting in these different 15,000 words. And if you want to learn more about the process and you know, what they found, go and watch their videos because it really is interesting. I was instantly interested in what words around shooting and gun related content would lead to a gun video being taken down. And whilst it's only 15,000 words and they haven't obviously been able to include every sort of shooting phrase or gun terminology in there, out of the ones that they did, there's only one word that would lead to your video being demonetized if you were to put it in your title. Unfortunately, it's quite a big one. Shooting. If you put shooting in your title, it will lead to your video being demonetized. So yeah, making shooting related content and not being able to use the word shooting in a title does make things slightly complicated. However, there is a silver lining. The following words were tested and would not lead to your video being demonetized. Range, shotgun, shot, shots, sig, sig sour fans will be happy with that one, skeet, bullet, AK-47, assault. Now, I've put assault in there. I wasn't able to find if they had tested rifle, it wasn't in the list. Would rifle be okay? Let's assume that after shotgun it probably would be, and if assault's okay, then probably assault rifle would be okay. Full auto, self-defense, magazine, magazines, and for all you gangsters out there, <laughs> clip, gun, gun control, guns, target, targets, and that's all of the shooting related words that I could find. But that's actually fairly promising. There are a few caveats to this and certainly a lot of discrepancies in the words that YouTube seems to flag up. So the number one caveat is that title is not the be all and end all of your video being monetized. It's probably the first step, but 
there are other factors at play. Title, I think, is probably the biggest one, but even if you use a safe title, the way that the algorithms work and the way the bots work is that they go through and they're able to listen at what you're saying and then they're able to build up a picture of the video. We're talking about artificial intelligence here. It is, in some cases, pretty smart. The other caveat is that it seems that the goalposts move. After various testing, they found that words seem to jump in and jump out of being a demonetized word. So this is obviously down to machine learning, down to AI. And it's because when you request a manual review for a person to go and check whether the video is rightly or wrongly demonetized, it will reinforce the bot. So if the bot's being correct and they say yes, then the bot goes, well, yeah, I was right. So it's effectively even harsher next time. But if they deem that it was incorrect, the bot will try to learn from that. And that probably means that there's this constant flip-flop. This, however, leads to some discrepancies. And two different words or countries that caught my eye was that North Korea is fine. It will not get your video demonetized if you use it in your title. New Zealand, on the other hand, will. And this is because the bots are obviously learning from major events. North Korea has sort of kept quiet recently. So lonely. Whereas, obviously, we're quite aware of the New Zealand shooting. Again, shooting, banned word. New Zealand, banned words. So it seems that what the bots are trying to do is stop people from making money around horrific events across the world and certainly videos that advertisers are not going to want to be associated with. So where does it leave us? Well at the moment again there's no set goalposts. These words could change overnight if there's a, a particular attack with an AK-47 and the AK-47 is further demonized then perhaps that will become a banned word. After a few more months, a couple of years, when everything has sort of been forgotten about with New Zealand, perhaps New Zealand will become a good word. But what re really should be happening is YouTube should be guiding YouTubers a lot more, giving you hot words of, you know, actually don't really use this at the moment because there's a lot of bad press. And again, inform you of what you're being demonetized for. So in the long term, what I can see happening is AI becoming more intelligent and actually at some point being able to decide whether your content is positively using these concerning words or negatively using and again more accurately being able to decide whether an advertiser would want their advert put in front of or associated with your content. So for once I think the gun community have actually got off pretty lightly. I was expecting words certainly like AK-47 to be a a flag and a demonetization but it seems pretty okay i really do feel for the lgbt community they are being shunned here the way that youtube works is okay your video gets demonetized you can still make videos and put them out there but if you are doing this full time and you don't have an income well you're going to stop and therefore the things that youtube likes are going to thrive and then groups like the LGBT community, groups like the gun community if it was being censored a lot more based on these words, they're going to diminish because they're not going to be represented proportionately because they can't make money, they can't put out this sort of content. So YouTube has a lot to answer for, it has a lot to fix and it's obvious that the, the system that they are currently using isn't fit for purpose and whilst they may say it will get better and whilst they may say that in the long term the bots will be intelligent enough to distinguish between good and bad they're not then now and how long is it going to be this issue is not a flash in the pan it's been going on for a couple of years now and youtube really need to sort it out not only for necessarily the gun community but all of the other marginalized communities that are having their voice shunned on youtube so there we go guys 
thank you very much for watching this video go and check out all of the other videos and I'll put the list of words in the description as well for you to have a flick through. Make sure if you're not already to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification to get notifications when new videos come out and thank you very much for watching and as always I hope to see you soon.